Hi. You may have been wondering where I've been lately. Uh, or not. But if you're watching this video, I hope you're at least a little curious. Let's talk. Life has been crazy. Uh, a lot of stuff has been going on, as I'm sure you know, in 2020. And it's been making my plans for this year very, very, very slow. A lot of which had to do with me moving forward in my adult life. If you don't know, I'm 21. I don't look it, but I am. Here's proof, if you want it. All of this was going to be slow already, but it's been even slower with the things going on outside. So, along with that has come not only a lot of delays in getting myself off my feet, but also a lot of depression and anxiety. Even though coronavirus hasn't affected me personally yet, it has affected friends of mine and it has affected the world around me. It's hard to relax and, you know, focus on yourself when it feels like the world is a scary and unknown place right now. Unfortunately, that's caused a lot of sadness in my life and a lot of demotivation because not a lot seems certain right now. As I'm sure you can tell from behind me, I'm not exactly great at keeping my own space maintained even because I'm not motivated to do a lot. Which of course also means that I haven't been very motivated to make content even though it is the thing that makes me happiest. Getting a video out and edited or a stream done and finished is one of the most euphoric feelings. But it's hard for me to climb that mountain so I can have that free fall. A free fall being like adrenaline? That wasn't a great metaphor. Which moves us on to YouTube. YouTube isn't a nice place for people who upload slowly. Some people can get away with it because they're just so well known and everyone loves their stuff that it doesn't matter how often they upload. If they upload anything, it gets a million and five views. I'm not that person. Uh, the algorithm hates me because every time I upload anything, it gets pushed to nobody and I have to manually spread it myself and show it to all my friends, which I do anyway because every time I make a video, it is a euphoric and proud moment for me. But lately, every time I look at my channel, I've just felt sad. Uh, like it's an insurmountable task that I can't complete. I have this irrational but ever-present feeling in my head that the video I come back with needs to be huge and enormous, have hundreds of hours of editing and production and a lot of time and effort and energy put into it to make it feel like the wait was worth it. I'm gonna be honest with myself, no one's waiting. Uh, people who watch this channel watch it because they're my friends, family, or passively noticed me and wanted to see what else I'd make. No one's waiting with bated breath to see what DigiDunkin's gonna put out next. Honestly, that shouldn't be saddening. That should be a relief. It should allow me to make more content that I want to make without feeling burdened by an audience. But it doesn't. I uploaded two videos in 2020. One of them was a YouTube poop collab entry that I'm, I'm very proud of, but it is a very niche audience and isn't something that a lot of people would have enjoyed or even found funny. The other was a video where I attempted to turn my current obsession at the time, and still kind of is, Clone Hero, into content, which ended up to be two minutes of me failing at a song. It wasn't funny, it wasn't very well edited, and I'm, I don't know, not very happy with that video, honestly. I may end up taking it down. Those are the only two videos I uploaded in 2020. The one before that was a behind the scenes of a video I made for someone else's channel. The one before that was a lyric video to a video I didn't make. I haven't made a lot of original content lately. I have been streaming on Twitch, and but even that has been slow. I streamed twice in the month of September because in the last week of August I did a large charity event that took about a week and I streamed about eight hours for four of those days in that week. We raised $255 and I'm extremely proud of you guys for that and I'm very happy to have worked with JDRF and I, I want to work with them again and they've reached out and said they'd like to. The issue is I, I burnt out almost immediately after that. I didn't want to touch Twitch, didn't want to look at it. Twitch uh, doesn't like that either. Algorithms don't like it when you stop making content, so they stop pushing your channel to people. I, I imagine it's going to be a very slow climb 
getting my subscribers back on Twitch and getting my viewers back on YouTube. But it shouldn't matter. Let's talk about why. Moving forward, I want to make more content. Ironically, one of the last real pieces of content I made was an attempt at a reboot. It was an ARG type looking video where I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. What's happening here? Anywho, at the end of the video, there's a little joke, kind of, that says hashtag no more reboots. It was a running joke between me and a very close friend because I kept rebooting the channel over and over, thinking it would reinvigorate my love of making content. It never did, obviously. That's why we're sitting here today. But it was almost true, and moving forward, I want it to be even more true. There will be no more reboots after this because rebooting the channel isn't helpful. Putting a fresh coat of paint on a turd isn't going to clean it up. What you need to do is you need to scoop the turd away. So that's what we're doing. Uh, from now on, no more schedule. That's part one of this. Uh, setting myself to a weekly schedule has never worked, and I'm not going to do it anymore. It doesn't help me make content. It doesn't help you get content. It doesn't make anybody more interested in the content. So why are we doing it? No more schedule. Not helpful. Number two, the theme of the videos is going to be wild. I tried sticking to one kind of content for a little bit, in different chunks and in different phases of my life, and it's never worked. I have too many ideas, I have too much creativity that I want to put out there, and I don't want to feel restricted in what I can put out. So what will this channel be then if there's no schedule and no content theme? It's me. Almost a decade ago, a little under nine years now, I uploaded a video to YouTube called Welcome to Digi Duncan. A video got muted because it had Christmas music in it. I didn't know what copyright was at the time. Actually, isn't that public domain? Why was that taken down? Anywho, since then a lot has changed. I've changed, YouTube has changed, the internet's changed, the world has changed. But one thing has stayed consistent, and it will remain consistent. That logo, this face. That's what you're gonna get out of this channel. What spawns from that, I don't know. But I hope you guys wanna come along for that ride. There will be more videos after this, but I'm not promising anything. If this is the last video I ever make, don't tell me I didn't warn you. But it won't be. Likely. I have so many plans. I have a lot of videos that I want to make. I have Premiere files open that I want to edit and finish, but that 90% is easy and the last 10% is so insurmountably hard sometimes. I hope you guys can understand. I love all of you and just stick around. Come watch what I make. Check out the Twitch. I know I'm plugging at this point, but I'm really proud that I've been streaming on Twitch. It's fun. I actually enjoy it. It's a great way for me to make content without necessarily needing to put tons of post work into it. But there's a lot of stuff I want to make that is going to take a lot of post work. That stuff's not going to be out for a while, but it will be out eventually. And I'm excited to show it to you. Love you guys. This is Junkin. Signing off.